Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Barn on eleven nine seventy. Thank you for watching this video. All right, guys. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails lately from um, some of my subscribers who really support what I do, and um, I want to say thank thank you to you all of those people who sent very nice um, and very supportive emails. And I want to let people know that, to be honest, in this roller coaster of a ride that I've been on since I've been doing this, we all have our ups and downs and everything. And I can understand where there are people out there who may not like my message or may not understand it or, you know, have some problem with what I do and say. And I, I want to say that when I'm able to speak to some of them, we can actually find out that we have similar things in common or we can actually be able to actually agree or disagree, but do it in a way that could be productive for both parties. Uh, there's a couple of people that I've had problems with over the years, and now they are subscribers, and I welcome their comments on a regular basis. So there are people out there, you know, like they say in this world, you could please some of the people all the time and all of the people some of the time, but you can't please all the people all the time. So I want my subscribers to know, the ones that are here for legitimate reasons, that I appreciate what you what you stand for. I appreciate the fact that you're here because you want to learn something or you want to get maybe a different perspective on something. I mean, I'll really never know the true reason why some people are here. But I know there are people here for legitimate reasons. I also know there are people out there who subscribe to my channel just to thumb down a video. Now, there are misconceptions about how I am, and people formulate their opinions, which is fine, but they base it on YouTube, not knowing me as a person, and they think I don't want people that disagree with me, and that is furthest from the truth. The thing I ask for is just be respectful. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you don't like what I have to say, then say it. But somebody, for example, who will thumb down a video two seconds after I post it is not somebody that I can ever do anything with as far as trying to help them or communicate with them, rationalize with that, that person. And they tend to hide. And then you'll have people, and I'm going to mention this person's name because if you want to see the videos he does to make fun of me, it's fine. Um, it's the Velvet Cult. Um, whoever it is, they're, they remain anonymous. They hide their voice. Um, they make it so you can't thumb up or thumb down a video, and they, they disable the comments so you can't comment. So if people want to see somebody that for some reason has some vendetta, I recommend watching his channel. But I want people to know that I try my best. I don't get everything right. But like, for example, my latest video about the um, Asperger's this, um, problem with Adam Lanza. Now, none of us will ever really know if he was capable of doing all the things he did by himself or with help. And with his problem, and also depending on what kind of medications he was on, was he fully capable of doing it? I'm sure he could have, but unless we were there, we'll never know. So my thing is, I think we should all be able to question things. And then we have things like the sun gazing. Now, if you look at some of the comments that people um, actually put on there, you'll see that people actually have done it. Their eyesight has improved. They actually feel better. Now, for people to automatically dismiss it, you're missing out on something that was hidden for thousands of years. And we have to come to a point where we can work as a society. And I know there's going to be differences. That you can't stop. But the whole divide and conquer, the way the government and these upper class people, these billionaires and trillionaires, who laugh at all of us, watching us all fight amongst ourselves, are going to continue to do the things that they know work. And that is getting us all to fight amongst ourselves. I honestly, I really, my fighting days are over. I just, I have gotten past that. Even the problem I had with the news unit, him and I actually talked it out. We settled our differences and there's no problem anymore. So we all need to grow and understand that, you know, there are going to be people you may not like. There are going to be people you may not agree with, but there's a right and a wrong way to handle things. I've learned that myself. I've handled things the wrong way in the past, but you can only change how you are now. You can't base things on everything you've done. Otherwise, you'll just torment yourself for the rest of your lives. And I know people in this movement, we not only have to deal with these paid operatives 
that automatically try and get misinformation out there and people that are just paid trolls to cause problems but we'll have the people that well I don't like that person I don't agree with it or I want to fit in somehow so I'm gonna join the hating of somebody's channel and that's not really helping us all as a society so I'm asking all the haters out there if you want to communicate with me and find out what it is that I can do or what we can do to make this channel better I'm all for it but make no mistake if for example and I, I said this before when I talk about this video and I say this is my house I've said that in other videos I don't mean that YouTube is my house I'm talking about this channel this video this like my house and if somebody if I was throwing a party at my house and somebody I didn't know was invited or wasn't invited and came with a friend and started disrespecting me at my house he's getting thrown out you would do the same if you had a party at your house and some stranger came into your house and started disrespecting you you'll be like who the hell are you get out so we all have to learn things so basically this video is to thank the ones that are out there that really want to try and seek truth now I've never claimed to be an expert I've never claimed to be able to get everything right and that's one of the reasons why I don't even edit my videos and there's times I might slur a second or stop and try and think of something to say or maybe even pronounce something wrong but that's just the show I'm just as normal and real as everybody else out there I don't try and make myself to be some special person I hope that people can start realizing that while we're all fighting amongst ourselves and nitpicking over the littlest silliest things and arguing back and forth that they're stealing all of our money they're the ones stealing all our property they're the ones taking all our jobs they're the ones that are gonna have the last laugh so if we don't really find a way to be able to work together and actually learn to communicate where if you don't agree with what I have to say instead of saying things like you're a moron or you're an idiot or you have no idea or make some funny joke because it's easy to do that behind a computer why not have constructive criticism why not say why not try this why not go that way or you may not have gotten that right here look up this particular website and you'll get better information I just don't understand how people can think this is beneficial to us all because even the people who get paid to go around on websites to discredit people they ultimately will be screwed themselves in the long run we have to realize these things and yes we can all get paranoid we can over analyze things we can read into things or think everything at one point could be a conspiracy here's the thing if we had an honest government if we had honest politicians if we had banks and corporations that were always there by our side to help us out then we wouldn't have these problems we wouldn't have these questions if the Sandy Hook shooting was Adam Lanza for some crazed reason went in and shot a bunch of children and he legitimately did it and they answered all the questions showed some of the video to show he was the one and there weren't all these questions none of us would ever be here saying wow what's the problem because where was this 10 years ago 20 years ago my point is I understand that there are going to be people who have problems with things but how long will we continue to be fooled I mean look at throughout history we've been told the the earth is flat we've been told that cigarettes were good for us at one point we were told that these artificial sweeteners like aspartame are good for us we were told the shot that they tell us we're supposed to have are good for us we're finding out little by little that they're not only wrong but they lie about things so I understand when I do a video like sun gazing most people think oh I've never heard of that before so I must automatically assume it's crazy why why are you not open to a new idea because do you really think I'm here to try and injure someone to make them go blind I mean really do you think I'm that evil of a person I want people to know about this stuff because I'm trying to help people and I would never teach something like that if I haven't done it myself and that's why I hear people they'll always say things like oh you need proof if I don't have proof I don't believe you but here I am I make a video 
about proving it because I'm doing it as I'm filming it, and it's still not enough. But that's not going to stop me because you know what? One person on that site, and I'm not going to mention the, the person's name because I don't know if they want to be known or not, but said that because of my video, they tried it, and their actual eyesight has improved. So you know what? There could be 50,000 haters on that video, and I know that I helped one person. And you know what? To me, that feels good. And with all the haters out there, and like that guy from the Velvet Cult who gets off making fun of me, and he's afraid to show his face or show who he is, and he takes off the thumbs up and thumbs down, and he blocks the comments, the one thing I will never have to worry about is I never have to worry about him being some good-hearted person and helping somebody. He can easily make fun of me because he's just an anonymous person on the computer. And yes, I'm a human being. It did hurt me at one point, and that's why I did get a little overboard and overreacted to certain things. I'm human, but aren't we all? So I really hope if there's anybody out there that has some kind of vendetta against me, just talk to me. And you'll see that I am just as normal and average as everybody else. I just have passion in what I talk about. I also do not like what the government's doing. And if they take our gun rights away from us, God help us what happens. And I want to do my part to not let that happen. So if that means I have to be humiliated and insulted and ridiculed from a bunch of strangers, for me to not give up and continue my fight to try and awaken as many people as I can, I'm going to continue to do it, even when it hurts, even when it bothers me, because I am not the give up type. And you've seen I've tried to give up. I just don't want to do that. So for my regular subscribers who are here for the right reason, this is a thank you, because for every hater, there's a good person out there that makes me feel proud to put my face on the line and put my reputation on the line saying things that most people won't agree with. As far as the sun gazing, I know what it does. My wife knows what it does. My mother knows what it does. My aunts know what it does. My cousin knows what it does. And the people that followed it knows what it can do. If you choose to not listen to something where it's free, it can heal you naturally, it will not create any side effects, and you don't even want to research it, that is up to you. But don't hate me for it. I really hope some of the people out there can actually see what it's like to actually just be normal, to be a regular person. But that doesn't mean I am better than anybody else. It doesn't mean I'm perfect. It doesn't mean I'm right. But like, for example, with the Sandy Hook shooting, I would rather question it and then find out I'm wrong than to just accept what was told to us when it doesn't feel right. To me, that is the worst thing. So, for all of you out there that have a problem with what I do, you are not going to make me stop. You may hurt me every now and then, it may bother me every now and then, but it will never make me stop. Because I'm not in it for you guys. And as much as you think, oh, I'm going to pat myself on the back because he's talking about me, I actually feel sorry for you. And for those who have the problem, like even you, the Velvet Cult, whoever you are, I have no problem with you. Even people like the Shafe Report, I've seen some of the things that he writes in other people's channels. I've never even said anything about this person. But if he wants to insult me the way he does, I forgive you too. And I hope you have a better way in your life to release your anger instead of saying things about somebody you've never even had a problem with. But I'm just not going to fight anymore. And I'm not going to give up anymore. So I know this will be a personal challenge for some people out there to say, oh, we're going to down double the amount we're going to hurt them. Good luck with that. If that's your proud moment in your life, if that's what, you know, you live for, then that's what you're going to do. But I helped somebody today. And I've gotten emails from people with their support and their love and their respect. And that, to me, is an amazing feeling. And what some of those people will never get to experience. So there will be more entertaining people. There will be more exciting people. There will be more people that have videos that may talk a lot better than I do. But you know what? I'm not trying to be better than anybody else. I'm just trying to be me. And maybe that's something I had to learn. 
So as much as this video is a thank you for you guys that we really do care, maybe this is also for me. So for everybody out there, including the people that may have a problem with what I do and say, you've created challenges for me that made me into a better person. So maybe I had to deal with those things to look deeper into myself. And maybe that might be a learning lesson for us all that um, one day you can blame everybody else in the world. But if you don't take responsibility for yourself, things never change. So to those who have a problem with what I do, I can't apologize for it. But I can forgive you for your part. What you do is totally up to you. Thanks for watching, guys.